This is Industry Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we analyze a different industry. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about the renewable energy industry. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Today we're jumping into the near future. We're taking a ride on the winds of change, showing you interesting things about the renewable energy industry. This convenient alternative to fossil fuels or coal is becoming a buzzword more and more these days, but somehow is still not growing as fast as our planet needs it to. Climate change is a real threat, and in order to preserve our species, we need to shift our fuel sources with renewable alternatives such as wind, solar power, water, or bio oils. As the technology to make energy from renewable sources is expensive and constantly developing, billions of dollars are being rolled between companies, governments, and NGOs. Do we need more wind turbines, more water dams, solar panels, or ethanol for our cars? What's the right thing to do? How much does it cost to switch? And how long will it take until we can say we are 100% running on renewable energy? If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Well, let's take a look behind the scenes and start to analyze those questions. Here we go. Number one, China is the country that invests the most money into renewable energy. Because of climate change, the whole world is trying to reverse this process as much as possible. More and more countries are investing in renewable energy because it's profitable on the long term and is way more eco-friendly. China is at the top of the list as far as investments go. So far, they pumped billions of dollars into wind turbines and other alternatives and they plan to invest another $780 billion by the year 2030. They now have over 3 million jobs in solar technology, 10 times more than America. India is the second on the list and the US comes third. Number 2. Michael Bloomberg is investing $70 million in renewable energy throughout America. Just because China is investing more in this industry doesn't mean America is not as concerned as China. In fact, one of the most prolific and famous businessmen in the USA is investing $70 million in renewable energy. Michael Bloomberg, who's the former mayor of New York City and has a fortune of $46.3 billion, is pushing Cincinnati and other key cities to switch coal and fossil fuels for solar panels. The money is offered through Bloomberg Philanthropies and is part of the Bloomberg's American Cities Climate Challenge, a two-year program designed to accelerate work already being done by the cities receiving the award. Number 3. Over 100 cities are running 75% on renewable energy. So far, only Costa Rica bragged about being almost 100% on renewable energy. Sweden, Iceland, and Paraguay are also on that list, but it's still not enough to make a difference. But on the bright side, more cities claim to be as high as 75% green. Because cities like New York or Tokyo are so crowded and filled with skyscrapers, rooftop solar panels and bio-oils from fast foods are the key sources for green energy. By 2050, a lot of cities plan to be 100% green. Let's just hope they have it all figured out by then. Number 4. Mongolia is investing $85 million in wind turbines. Another unexpected country that wants to go green is Mongolia. Because their climate and geography allows them to adopt this kind of alternative, they're investing over $85 million in renewable energy that will benefit over 260,000 people. Focusing on solar panels and wind turbines, Mongolia's government shows just how determined they are to help their citizens, even though the money comes from the Asian Development Bank, the same bank that helped Afghanistan with $44 million as well. Number 5. This industry is worth around $300 billion. How come so many cities and countries are investing in wind turbines and solar panels? Do they really care about the environment or are there other reasons? There's always another side to the story, and renewable energy is the way of making money out of thin air and sunshine. The whole energy industry is worth $1.3 trillion, and the renewable energy takes around 22% of that. This means that around $300 billion are at stake in green energy, and that's why people want to get into it. Number 6. 
Chernobyl is now a renewable energy area. The unfortunate catastrophe at Chernobyl might be the biggest hazard of the last 50 years. Although the entire area is now open for tours and visitors, Ukrainian authorities decided to make the best out of it. Not much can be made in the area due to radioactive waste, and that's where wind turbines and solar panels come to the rescue. They plan to install 1,000 miles of solar panels, and if it all goes well, they'll expand the project so it will produce over 100 megawatts. Number 7. North Ireland's government collapsed in the wake of a $1.4 billion green energy scandal. Green energy can cause problems too. North Ireland's government totally collapsed last year after a mega scandal blew up in the media. Through a carefully managed scheme, companies were able to grasp as much as $1.1 million under the green energy excuse. The renewable heat incentive was founded so companies are encouraged to use green energy as fuel. Instead, they used normal fuel and took the incentive money, which is the UK's taxpayers' money too. The scheme was initially planned to rip only $45 million, but it escalated to $1.4 billion in the end. Number 8. Wind turbines might not be so green after all. Well, isn't the world a twisted place? Wind energy is said to be clean and environmentally friendly, but as a new report shows, they are not so green nor do they provide any global energy. The Global Wind Energy Council mentioned in their latest report that wind and solar energy only supply a small percentage of the world's energy demand. The world needs around 350,000 wind turbines per year to meet the demand of energy the world actually needs. That means that in less than 50 years, Russia would be fully submerged in wind turbines. This is how extreme we need to go in order to quit fossil fuels altogether, at least with our current technology. Number 9. Saudi Arabia is investing $50 billion in renewable energy. The country that controls oil prices and is one of the richest nations is also investing in renewable energy. Saudi Arabia is thinking long term and they plan to invest over $50 billion on a 10-year strategy towards green energy. They're looking into wind energy because some locations throughout the country have high enough winds that are more suitable for wind turbines. And since Saudi Arabia is so rich, we're expecting they'll be 100% green by 2050. Number 10. Vestas is the largest wind turbine company in the world. In a $1.3 trillion industry that is the energy industry globally, there is a Danish brand that stands tall against all odds and against all winds. It's called Vestas, and they're the biggest wind turbine company in the world. They built their first wind turbine in 1979, and nowadays they've installed over 59,000 wind turbines in more than 70 countries worldwide. With all those wind turbines, they're accountable for more than 16% of the world's wind energy, and it all started in a small town in Denmark. Want to learn some more about Denmark, Alexers? Why not head over to our video, where we list the 15 things you didn't know about this amazing country and its happy citizens. Just click in the top right corner to check it out. Number 11. You can rent your roofs and have solar panels installed for free. The biggest problem with renewable energy is that most households can't afford the cut on gas and electricity because solar panels are quite expensive. A solar panel system is around $7,000, so it is quite an investment. If you can't afford them, you can always rent your rooftop to get them installed for free. All this means is you split the energy they produce and you can benefit from them as well. Switching to 50% renewable energy can save you a few hundred dollars on your bills. Number 12. Singapore is launching a blockchain market for renewable energy. Renewable energy is definitely a modern industry. Superpowers want to use it and capitalize on it. Since Asia is so involved in it, you would expect one of the biggest economies of the continent to help them mediate the process. Singapore is planning to launch a blockchain market for renewable energy companies. The platform is designed and built in-house to enable organizations to trade in RECs tradable certificates that represent energy generated from renewable sources. Blockchain technology makes the platform secure, honest, and traceable for each transaction.
Number 13. Facebook is running on renewable energy. Social media doesn't only use the internet, they are massive corporations with headquarter buildings and servers to keep them running. With over 2 billion users worldwide, Facebook needs a lot of energy and warehouses to stay up and running. This also means that they have energy bills to pay as well. Recently, they announced that all of their offices and data centers will run on 100% renewable energy by 2020. It's an ambitious plan, but it shows that not only big plants and polluting industries need to change the way they source their energy. Number 14. The Pyramids of Giza are surrounded by solar panels. Tourism may not be on your mind when you first talk about renewable energy, but as wind turbines and solar panels are getting more popular, they might ruin your Instagram pictures when you visit some important landmarks such as the Pyramids of Giza. Yes, Egypt is also investing in solar panels, and they've put them around the pyramids. They have the potential to generate 53% of the electricity from renewable energy sources by 2030 and could reduce energy bills up to $900 million annually. All of that with the cost of seeing solar panels all over the desert and beautiful landscapes. Number 15. By 2020, renewable energy might be cheaper than fossil fuels. We keep mentioning 2020, 2030, and 2050 in this video. These are milestones set by some countries or cities in order to push the industry towards their goal of being as green as possible as soon as possible. Some say that by 2020, which is a year away, renewable energy will be just as cheap or even cheaper than fossil fuels. Since it's such a money-making industry, the goal might be reachable by 2020. What do you guys think? Is it too soon? Renewable energy, as well as electrical cars, might be on the verge of disrupting the world as we know it. A lot of people don't trust them, but as stocks show, they're gaining popularity and love all over the world, so expect others to copy them soon. Our children might grow up not knowing how to pump gas into a car, or how a coal mine used to look like. Does the sound of a sustainable world sound good to you? Of course it does! Do you think that it's possible to switch to green alternatives in time? Let us know in the comments below! And since you stuck with us all the way to the end, of course, you deserve a reward! Here's your bonus! Number 16. Air conditioning and refrigerators are warming up our planet. Some of the greatest inventions of our time were the refrigerator and the air conditioning unit. What would life be like without these, right? Well, as much as we love and use them so often, they are major polluters that actually make our planet warmer. In order to keep the fridge cold, all the heat is evacuated. That's why the fridge is warm on the outside and around it. The same goes for the air conditioning, not to mention how much energy they consume just to run on a daily basis. All in all, they are not that green, and we need some new alternatives to those as well. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.